Thank you for taking the time to listen to this short presentation on taking GCSE Geography. My name is Mr McPherson, a teacher of geography here at Sacred Heart. GCSE Geography helps us to make sense of the world around us. It allows us to di visit different physical landscapes and built up environments and understand how they have changed in the past and how they will change in the future. We study three papers. Paper one is around living with the physical environment. We look at tectonics such as earthquakes and plate movement, climate change, ecosystems, rivers, coasts and tropical storms. Paper two is around the human environment. So we look at urban issues and challenges in both Rio and London. We look at the change in the economic world in Nigeria and the UK, and then the challenge of resource management, where we look in more detail at food and supplies around the world. Paper three is about geographical applications in which there is issue evaluation of a pre-release, which comes down of the March of your exam year, field work in which we visit Redcar Beach and Whitby, and geographical skills such as map reading. You'll be assessed on three papers. Paper one, living with the physical environment, is an hour and a half and will count to 35% of your GCSE. Paper two is challenges in the human environment. This is an hour and a half as well. And once again, will count to 35% of your GCSE. Paper three, is geographical applications. This exam is shorter, at an hour and a quarter, and this time makes up 30% of your GCSE. What are your post 16 opportunities in relation to GCSE geography? A level geography covers once again both the physical and the human environments. In more detail, looking at how people adapt and mitigate. The effects of processes on their environment. Further on from this, geography is an obvious choice for careers in such things as sustainability and green issues, as well as urban regeneration, energy supply and location of retail. If you have any further questions, please ask myself or Mrs O'Neill and we look forward to answering them and having you choose GCSE Geography as one of your options.